Hi, this is William. Welcome to Fly Spoke. And uh, today I want to tie for you a fly that um, I've been using for uh, trout. And um, it's a variation of what's called a wood duck heron fly. And um, I'm going to start off, I'm using a, a Daiichi hook. It's a 2220 streamer hook. And I'm just going to take down the barb in my vise. Just pinch it down. It's a size 8. This fly can be tied, uh, I wouldn't tie it any bigger than an 8. And you can use uh, nymph hooks for it as well if you like. And um, I'm going to use some 12 aught red Giorgio Benecci thread. And I'm just going to start the fly right here. I'm going to, it's as far back and the hook as I want to go. So I'm going to take a lemon wood duck feather and I've trimmed it. And um, I've trimmed it so that one side, the top side, I've left uh, some of the barbules on so that I can get those tied in for strength right in that spot and it uh, helps prevent the stem from cracking so I'm just tying this in right in the front trim it off now I'm going to spin it just like a collar I'm going to take my my hackle pliers And I'm going to find a spot. And what I do with the hackle pliers is I use double stick tape inside. And that gives me a lot better grip on the feather. Okay, now what I have to do is i got to fold this back as I spin it. Just push it back and fold it back as you're spinning it on. And I'm just putting one in front of the other. Just moving towards the front of the fly. And I'll tie that off right there. All right, bend back. And secure it down. Just move back with your thread a little bit. And that will get that feather moving in the correct position and if I just push forward on the feather putting some pressure downward and forward I can get it to lay I can get it to lay where I want it to sit okay and then I'm gonna take a red silver pheasant breast feather and I want it to be of not as long as the as the wood duck I'm going to take that down and that again I'm going to leave just a few just a few barbules on one side so that they tie in color of these two feathers together is just wonderful. This is, it's, it, it's um, called a red feather, but it's really not red. It's more of a sort of a crimsony, rusty color. 
and just is uh, just has a great great look to it I can show you also they come in all different lengths you get them there this is a real I mean genuine spay hackle and very wispy you know very very light feeling and wispy feather is used um, as the tail and the collar in uh, one of the earliest spay flies called the Lady Caroline. That's why I got them was to tie that fly. And now, um, having taken this out yesterday and caught trout on it, I feel very confident to show you a, a fly that's going to be in my box now forever. I've just grabbed that and fold it back. Go around. Alright. So this is a very, very simple, relatively fast little streamer fly to tie. Going to uh, this coming weekend, I'm going to give this a real workout on uh, some brown trout. Going up to the uh, fly fishing only section of the uh, Saco River in New Hampshire. Whip finish. There it is.